hey what's going on guys this is kedar here and today in this video i will show you how you can clone your hard drives but you might be asking why you need to clone your hard drives my hard drives are usually 100 percent filled taking a look at the properties oh my god i only have four gigs left in my drive and the problem is the hard drive is only 120 gigabytes oh my god and you might be wondering am i that cheap no 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 my friend stole my ssd <laughs> so now you understand the importance of cloning your hard drive someone can steal it or it might get corrupted tomorrow so yeah do it right now so after cloning your drive you can straight up plug in your new drive and you don't have to worry about anything and let's face it guys even if you are using ssd or let's say a hard drive this is a electronic component and it can fail over time so yeah having a backup is the best thing you have now cloning hard drives can be very delicate task but AOMEI partition assistant and other tools they provide is the way to go. I would always prefer a trusted software to clone my hard drives because the partition tables in the hard drive are very critical in order to match and cloning is not an easy task guys. A single mistake in the cloning process can lead to total failure of the drive so yeah it's that critical. But this tool makes it all easy. You can literally copy entire operating system by cloning your drives. For your home and personal uses, this tool gives you pre-partition manager. So yeah, that's really cool. And wait guys, this is not the tool I'm going to use today. Well, watch this video till the end because each of the setting and the process of the cloning drive is critical. So watch this video till the end. So this is the tool I'm going to use. This is called AOMEI Backupper. Now even if you don't decide to upgrade your hard drive or SSD, well, if you have a couple of minutes, it's a good idea to take a backup of entire operating system, no matter it's Windows, Chrome OS or whatever it is. If you have a cloned drive, you can just swap out your drive if your existing drive fails and this will save you a lot of your time. Or let's say you want to build like 8 or 10 PCs at a time, you can install operating system in the one drive and copy this across the 8 or 10 drives you have. Okay, so that is super useful. Let's move over to the actual cloning process. So I have given link in the description below for the free download link. Click over here and just download this freeware. Moving over to the next step, installation is quite simple. Just double click on it and select the language press on ok now these are the packages they provide you so you can get the pro edition if you want i'm just going for standard edition right now in the pro version you can restore the system to different computer you can automatically delete old backups and take real-time file sync so yeah that's cool features in the pro version but anyways i will skip this and use the standard edition now so here it is now let's click on install now. So there we go. Our software is up and running. Now this is the interface. You can do lots of things with this AOMEI backupper. So you can create the backup task or you can do the synchronization of those backups. You can do two way mirror sync or real time sync. So you don't have to worry about your backup images. And in the backup, you can see you can take disk backup, partition backup, files backup so yeah this is all in one tool you could say in the tools tab you have lots of tools available over here as you can see so here we go this is how you can clone your hard drive so go into the clone tab and here you can see four options over here you can clone entire system you can disk clone or do the partition clone or you can wipe the disk so before we start the cloning process you should connect your both of the hard drives to your system. Now you can use uh, existing SATA connectors or you can use the external USB 3 to SATA adapter to connect your hard drive. 
and when you are done with that go into the clone tab and click on this disk clone option right over here this disk clone option is very useful because it can clone your partition as well as system and all the things so just go for the disk clone now this is the window to select the source disk here in the source disk i'm going to select my 120 gigabytes of hard drive which has my operating system on it so here we go select this disk 0 and click on next and right after that you have to select your destination disk so uh, the second one right over here is my destination disk and it's empty i don't have any important data on it so let's just select the second disk right over here and click on next now this prompt is confirming that your destination disk will be overwritten and deleted so make sure you don't have any important data on it so yeah just click on ok so there it is this is the summary of operation this is the source disk and the destination disk please confirm this and we will proceed further now this is the most important part of the cloning process if you need to clone your hard drive into ssd well you need to select this ssd alignment option so here i'm going to use ssd alignment option and the second one is this sector by sector clone this option will enable cloning of all the sectors no matter they are empty bad or whatever it will simply clone into your destination disk so select this sector by sector clone and click on start clone so there it is that's how you can clone your hard drives so let's wait for this to complete and i'll get back to you so here i realize sector by sector clone takes a lot of time so please be patient and there it is so it took me about 18 to 19 minutes of time but it depends totally on your, your disk space so here you can see congratulations the clone task has been successfully completed taking a look at my computer you can see my disk is successfully cloned along with the partitions but if you take a closer look you might be wondering where is all the empty space gone well let me show you so if you right click on this pc and click on manage and in the manage let's access our storage so click on it and disk management so there it is now here you can clearly see all the partitions and unallocated space as well here you can see i have a lot of unallocated space in this 447 gigabytes of hard drive to add this unallocated space over here i'm just going to left click on this drive and click on extend volume click on next and now let's add some space in this drive so um, by clicking over here you can see select the amount of space to add this so here let's say i need to add probably 100 gigs of storage so let's put 100 gigabytes over here so since the unallocated space is uh, just not used uh, now it will use 100 gigs from unallocated and add this into f drive so here you can see now my f drive is 150 gigabytes previously it was just like 58 gigs or something like that so there you go that's how you can use your unallocated space for any of your drive you can extend this drive into any of the partition that you have and if you want to create a new partition let's click on new simple volume and click on next select the volume and you can assign the names and things like that over here you can assign the drive letter as well click on next and here in the volume label you can assign the name of your drive clicking on next and finish and there you go you can see now our unallocated space is formatting and this is becoming our new g drive so boom there you go you can see our g drive is here and also the clone partition as well now quickly i will replug my clone drive into my system and let's see whether my pc is booting from it or not so there you go guys you can see my pc is successfully booted up and all the things are working flawlessly and you can see all the partitions are perfectly over here and working flawless 
I hope you learned something from this video. Please hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel. And there is always thanks for watching. Goodbye.